happy bank holiday weekend, David. Happy bank holiday weekend. That's my boyfriend, David. What are you doing, David? Playing. He's playing. What are you playing? FIFA. Well done, he's playing FIFA. So welcome to Bank Holiday Weekend. I'm thinking of making this a reading vlog. So what I normally do when I do these reading vlogs, um, I normally do like, read 12 hours in 24 hours, read in 24 hours in a weekend, read! And I thought, I don't think I've ever done a reading vlog where I haven't sort of set myself a challenge. Maybe I have, but I can't bloody remember if I have. So I thought what I'd do is just vlog the weekend and take you guys along with David and I. As I said, it's a bank holiday weekend here in the UK. It's the first weekend of May. It's not quite yet May. It's gonna be May. May. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna be May on Sunday. Um, it's Friday evening. I finished work about an hour and a half ago, correct David? I don't really know what time it yeah, is. Yeah, why not? Let's about an hour and a half ago. Um, and um, tonight, David, where are we going? Cinema. We're going to the cinema to watch the Downton Abbey movie, hurrah! Whoop, 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 whoop. We've pre-booked this, we're very excited. The only thing that I'm not excited about is that I've got a twingy little twinge in my back. I did something yesterday, awkward angle or something, and I've twinged something and I've been in pain. So hopefully sitting in the cinema, I mean, sitting sort of slumped in the cinema is not my ideal situation. Well, I'm much quite better, comfy chairs I'm much better when I'm sort of upwardly mobile. I can move around quite happily like this. Just constantly walk up and well, around got... the cinema. <laughs> yeah, I'll just walk up and down the stairs watching it. Take a turn around the room, <laughs> as they would do in Downton They Abbey. would take a turn around the room in Downton Abbey. So we're doing that tonight. We had quite the old big lunch. My boyfriend David made lunch at lunchtime and had mushroom tacos, which were lovely. So we've had a big lunch. David has already said he's going to have a, um, a hot dog at the cinema. I said I think I'll have nachos. I've changed my mind. Another thing I want to show you is this wonderful outfit I'm wearing. Let me take you over there so I can stand upon there. It's not very tidy over there at the moment, is it? David, would you help me up onto here, like the Shell Visage? This is my new outfit. It's from Joni Clothing. They've sent me three items from their new collection. Obviously, I'm delighted. How much do I love Joni Clothing, David? The mostest. More than me. No, I don't love them more than you, but I do love them. And they sent me three things, so I thought this weekend I would wear all three things that they've sent me, starting with this oh. gingham. You're going to have to help me get down. I just realised I need to help you down, haven't I? I'm going to get down. And then where are you going? I'm just going to go and blow my nose. Okay, go and blow your nose. Um, yeah, so they've sent me three items from their new summer clothing range, um, and I thought I'd wear them this weekend to show them off to you. First one being this gingham play suit. I've got it in a size 16. I'm a size 16 to 18, but I do feel like the Joni Clothing stuff, here we go, enter Joni Clothing adoration section. They have often um, like elasticated panels. So here in the back of this dress, uh, in the back of this uh, jumpsuit, elasticated. So I'm quite a weight fluctuator. I fluctuate between a size 16 to 18. So that sort of elasticated panel is perfect. It's made out of 100% organic cotton, which means it's gonna keep me cool in the summer and just, it's gonna just be lovely. Um, it's also lined, which is a, another nice cho choice. So Jodie Clothing, their sort of message is like anti-fast fashion, at sort of affordable prices. So this jumpsuit I believe is 55 pounds um, and they want you to buy sort of like one off, Peter, like buy something that's gonna last you a long time. So, and I know having worn Joni clothing for a number of years, I've got jumpers from them that literally look like they've come like out of, of, of the rack. They look so, they, they, all of their clothes really wash up beautifully and last a really long time. So yeah, and they buy sort of like, they make individual sort of like vintage inspired pieces that you're gonna wear for a long time to come which I know I will do. So I'm very, very pleased to be in this. And as I said, I've got, um, they've sent me two other things which I will showcase over the weekend. And then on Monday, I'll probably just wear something that I already own from Joni Clothing. So yeah, very, very happy with this. and very excited. Um, but the reading, <laughs> we're four minutes in and we're here about the reading. So this weekend, as I said, it's gonna be May on Sunday. So my new TBR kicks in on Sunday with lots of new books to read in May. Haven't even filmed that yet. Um, but at the moment, let me just get the book that I'm planning on reading now before we go to the cinema. The cinema's at half past seven tonight, I think. And what I'm actually going to read, just to sit on the sofa and read for a bit, is this Something New, Tales from a Makeshift Bride by Lucy Nisley. This is my sister's book. I bought it for my sister when she got engaged. And it's um, a graphic novel about a woman, Lucy Nisley, who has sort of um, 
did make, did her own wedding and talked about how she met her partner and how to make um, a sort of wedding on a budget or a creative sort of wedding with the things that she wants and things like that. And I bought that for my sister when she got engaged. I've read a few of Lucy Nisley's books with varying results. Sometimes I find her a bit whiny. <laughs> there's one relish I really like, but there's one where she goes to France with her mum and she's just an unbearable, sulky little madam. Um, but yeah, so far, I mean, I've only read... 26 pages basically the first chapter which is where they discuss how they meet um but i thought this would be quite a nice thing to read as i'm getting married this year i'm getting married uh, later on in the year to my partner david you met him earlier he was down there playing um computer games remember so yeah so i think i'm gonna sit down and have a little read of this now might make myself a cup of tea i say i sit down I've got a hot water bottle. I think I'll plug that in and sit with that on my back for a bit um but yeah that's the reading that i will be doing now just a little read it's a graphic novel, David, about oh god, about being a bride and planning your own wedding. <laughs> she goes back slowly, doesn't she? That's nice when it's plugged in, though. Oh. Anyway, let's read this for a little bit. Chapter two, wedding season. David, that's on the video. I'm not taking it out. You don't have to. They can show. Uh, they can show oh, everybody yeah. what a little pop off bum you are. <laughs> I Did you even bend to do it? <laughs> Apologies. Ah! Just taking some ibuprofen ahead of going to the cinema and off in efforts to stave off the back pain. I've sat and read three chapters, three chapters, four chapters of um, something new. Um, yeah, so far it's been sort of like background into how her and her partner got together um but i enjoyed the little section about um rings engagement rings and sort of like what you should have or, or like, not what you should have just sort of like debunking all of those oh a man should spend three um three a man um three months worth of his salary on a ring and things like that and that was just definitely not david and i was definitely not um lucy nisley's opinion either um so i enjoyed that so yeah and now we're on to her sort of like the one thing i will say is that she has always wanted children ever since she was younger she was really into like reading pregnancy books and stuff when she was like as young as seven and her partner to be definitely doesn't want children and it li it feels as though it's leaning towards her sort of sacrificing her want of children in order so that she can keep her not not to keep her partner happy she wants her to marry her partner so much she loves him so much that she's willing to forgo that and i i don't know how it ends so i don't know if that is going to be how it ends but that to me feels a bit sad um but yeah but anyway speaking of sad david's got his oh david show him your charity shop jacket come and stand here david is absolutely delighted with himself he's finally bought something for himself in a charity shop how much was that david three pounds his jacket i'm talking about come back show them more it's from cotton traders david and i are both of the bigger spectrum in terms of sizes um of of clothes and quite often in charity shops I, i'm not able to find much that fits me david felt the same we've got a very big charity shop that we go into all the time um literally probably once or twice a week yeah. maybe um and david's been looking in there every time you've gone in there yeah. for as long as i can remember to try and find something that fit him and he's got this well, and you're well, absolutely made up with it aren't yeah, you yeah there's stuff that fit but it's all like old man stuff yeah so uh, there's a bigger women's section again the majority Much of stuff is um is for uh smaller sized people um but yeah you 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 love this don't you i've hit the jacket he pot. feels so delighted with himself in it and it's lovely and, and it's, is it comfy jacket pot yeah like jackpot Thank yeah you. anyway we're off to the very cinema comfy. now i'm not going to take you with us um it's very comfy well done i'm not going to take you with us um but david what sort of things are you expecting from the downton abbey movie laughs fabulous outfits fabulous outfits sass uh, uh, from the trainer it doesn't look as though there's much peril no, but that's there wasn't what, any peril in the last one. That's what we love one. about Downton. Well, there was a little bit of peril because it was the um, it was the bombing attempt, wasn't it? Oh yeah, so a little bit of yeah. peril, but 
It's the kind of peril that you like know that's that never going to pay off. But then in the actual series, peril tastic. Like oh, when Matthew God, died and when things. Sybil died, God, Sybil I never recovered from it. Sybil is one of the worst TV deaths oh, I've ever God. seen. Oh, God. So, yeah. So, we're looking forward to going to watch that. We're going to yes. go. We're leaving now. We're leaving a bit early. But we want to um, hopefully, want to um Dr. Pepper. And hopefully, I want... Maggie Smith will survive. Yeah. What we found weird about the, the first Downton Abbey film, which we went <coughs> to see many years ago... Um, they set at the end of it they sort of set up for the fact that maggie smith's character the violet the dowager countess wasn't going to be around forever and it was up to mary to sort of continue this and and we thought oh well she that's fine then she sort of written herself out of the story now so that it can carry on without her no nope. well from the trailer she looks as though she's the main bloody yeah. drawer in this so yeah, we'll let you know how we felt about the film when we get back, and we'll also yeah. let you know what trailers we saw and what Should out of the trailers we're most looking forward to seeing. Yeah, because it's been a couple of weeks, isn't it? Yeah. Well, no, actually, no, I think it's been nearly a month since we've we'll been. We'll let you know. So... so should we go then? Let's go. Do it like um, our niece does it. She does thumbs up like this when we show her and we do this. She really thinks she's doing it as well, doesn't she? She does this. Adorable. Right, see you when we get back. Bye. Bye. In you get. <laughs> show your face. <laughs> So how was the film, David? Lovely. I'm just removing my makeup. Well, I'm putting this on to remove my makeup. Um, exactly I'm, how yeah. you would expect a Downton Abbey movie to yeah, be. Yeah, very sort of like lull. Much more <coughs> lull. They, they've relied much yeah. more heavily on the lulls in this film than they have other, st yeah, uh, other films and stuff I've seen. Um, yeah, some surprises in there. Stuff that I hadn't... I wasn't expecting, and yeah. No, one big one for me. Yeah, and... Um, so to spoil... Say, no spoilers, well, no. I mean, I mean, it's a minimal spoiler. Okay, go on then, if you don't mind a minimal spoiler. Mosley has earned my oh, yeah. respect. <laughs> so David's always really not enjoyed the character of Mosley, and this time he actually quite liked him, didn't you, David? I did. Good. So, uh, the three trainers we saw, guys, all trainers we've seen before, yeah. One for Top Gun. I've literally got no interest in seeing Top Gun. I don't even think I've seen the original Top Gun. No. Um, the next one for... What was the next one? Oh, my God. What was the next one? We've seen it before. We had. And I remember thinking, yeah, I would go and see that, but... Oh, God, David! Oh, that's going to... Blooming frustrate me. Oh my god, the last one was for the Elvis Presley film, which I also would go and see. Oh no, I thought it was only... I thought it was Maverick, Elvis, then that no. Julia Roberts thing. No, it was Maverick, something, Elvis, and then this one late thing, and then the Julia oh, yeah, Roberts thing. Oh, late thing. Um, oh my god, what was it? I don't think there was anything There else. was, I'm sure was, uh, there was. I thought it was just Maverick and Elvis. Well, anyway, I want to go and see the Elvis Presley thing. I don't want to go and see the Maverick thing. Agree? Well, uh, I will go and watch Top Gun Maverick, although I feel like I've seen it all already. Yeah. Right, okay, so that's me makeup off. Well, not yet, I've got to go and do that. So, David, um, it's half past ten. David was saying, can't wait to get out and get in bed. Can't wait to get out and get in bed. David has kindly made us both a cup of tea. I'm, I've got two books here. Now, one of which I'm not going to talk too much about in this reading vlog because I've already wrapped it up in my April wrap up because I was over halfway through it. I'm still, would you say two thirds of the way, David, or not through that? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to finish off Remote Sympathy. I need to have it finished off because it's due back at the library on the 4th of May and it's got loads of reservations on it. Um, so I'll be reading that as well. So I think I'm probably going to read, I'm going to finish the chapter of something new that I'm on. Oh, which really isn't that far. Anyway, look at those cats, David. Okay, they're nice. You like them. Um, and then I'm going to probably read a bit of this. But, yeah, we've got to be up. What time's Teddy's tomorrow, David? Nine. So I've got to be out of here by... Oh, the, yeah, the dress I was going to wear. I was going to wear one of my, my new Joni dresses that they sent me. Um, but I think it's freezing. Well, it was freezing tonight, wasn't it? Was it was so cold. Maybe it'll be a bit warmer tomorrow. But the dress is quite... It's, again, 100% cotton and quite sort of... Not flimsy. Flimsy makes it sound like it's not well made. It's definitely well made, but like a cooler dress, I think. Mm. So, yeah, who Thin. knows? I'll be wearing that. Yeah. Thin fabric. Thin fabric, but not in a quality sense, guys, I no. promise you. Right, okay, so I'm doing some, gonna do some reading now. David, what are you gonna do? TikToks. He's gonna watch his TikToks. And um, yeah, I guess we'll see ya tomorrow. Say night night, David. Night night. Night. Good Saturday morning, David. Morning. 
David's in his tennis outfit. I am not in the planned dress. Oh, there's my face. I'm not in the planned dress that I plan to wear. I mean, this this is a Jodie top. Actually, Minnie got me this top for Mother's Day, didn't she? It's got different pasta shapes on it. It's actually quite cold out considering tomorrow is May. So um, it's gonna be May. We've done that so many times. I can't wait till it is May so we don't keep doing that until next year and then we'll do it again. Um, David's on his way to play tennis. Pew, pew, pew. Are you winning tennis at the moment? Uh, they keep score as the weeks go by. Yes. I think well I'm a, done. I think I'm a set up. Now, normally when David plays tennis, I do couch to 5K around the park that David plays tennis in, but my back is so sore still. And I just said to David, I just said to my partner, David, <clears throat> I had quite a bad night with it actually last night. Painful every time I turned over, I was like, <sighs> so um, I'm going for a lovely long walk around because when you've got backache, well, this backache I've got at the moment, the, the only time it's not really hurting is when I'm walking. So hopefully that will do me some good. So no running today, no Joni dress that I've been sent because it's too cold. Maybe I'll wear it tomorrow, maybe I'll wear it Monday. Fingers crossed these. And um, yeah, then we're off to have some breakfast brunch at um, a farm shop place near us where we can get high quality stuff, kimchi because I'm gonna get my sister a couple of jars of nice kimchi for her birthday. She's seen this before. No, this goes up after her birthday, so right. I hope you've had a lovely, she doesn't watch these videos, she doesn't care. She, if, if she's in it, she might watch it, but other than that, she's not bothered. How vain. How vain is she? Well, I've always said it. <laughs> um, so yeah, gonna go, and then we're gonna get some lunch while we're there, um, and then head home and do chores, but God knows what chores I'm gonna be able to do with my bloody backer in this much, David. My arm's even old, uh, tin holding this up, so I'll go, and um, yeah, I guess we'll see you, maybe. On I'll, the tennis pitch. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll see you when I'm walking around the park, because I'll tell you what I'm reading. She's walking. I'm so glad I've got layers on because it is quite cold. Um, so yeah, just at the park now. My back feels better already walking. It does help, doesn't it? A bit of the old walking. Um, and I'm going to be listening to Young Mungo by Stuart Bain. No, Stuart Douglas. <laughs> he wrote Shuggy Bain. Um, I'm not going to do too much talking again about this one because both this, Young Mungo and Remote Sympathy, I've already wrapped up in my April wrap up because I knew I'd be finished by the end of April. So I've got three and a half hours of Young Mungo left, so I'm going to listen to as much of it as I can at the moment. Very much enjoyed it. Took a bit of time to get in, because when I said I was reading it, a few people said, oh, I tried that, but I didn't get into it. But I definitely got into it sort of a couple of hours in. I don't know how many pages that is, but a couple of hours in. But yeah, put my headphones in. Isn't it lovely? That's where David plays tennis, over there. Over there, that might be them going into the tennis courts right now. You can't see. But there they are going into the tennis courts. And I suppose I'd better do a bit of walking. But a lovely morning. There's lots of football practice going on here by the time we leave. But lovely. And loads of dogs, if that's your sort of thing. I don't, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to have pancakes because I feel like they're going to be posh pancakes. Yeah. But they're not going to be. I like because it's. Um, a, is it. Aguave syrup? Agave. Agave like, syrup. It's, uh, like vegan honey, but yeah. it's like honey. No, I don't want honey. I like the syrup, American pancake syrup. So that's definitely off the cards. Okay. Well, hurry up because we're all hungry, aren't we? Cool. <laughs> Let's do more pressure now. She's set it out for a win. Oh, we got back away. I've got a veggie breakfast. David's got a New Yorker. And then this cake is here too. Diet Coke in the mornings. There is such a range of kimchi. I don't actually know. I was going to get a three, but now I think I should probably only get a two. What's the date like on them? 
How long does kimchi last? Oh, August 2022. Two. I'll get a two. I don't know which two. What do you reckon? Uh, it's probably not the spicy one. Yeah. I definitely say the purple like one. Spicy. I'd say the purple and the the red one. Breakfast was lovely. Kimchi purchased. We're now going into a sort of localish town, aren't we, David? Yep. One that we haven't exhausted all the charity shops of to get shaking. some to get some more glassware. Oh, God, that, I know the wingspan of that seagull is massive. So yeah, onwards. Hi, we're back now. Not much reading's been done because. We had a delicious lunch, brunch, and then as I said, popped into um, a few charity shops. I'll show you what we got in the charity shops, right there. Now this should be easy to do because there's two of each. So there's two of this one. David said he didn't wrap it very well. Oh, they're both in there. <laughs> so there's two of this red one, tall, glass red. Panned each they were. We put everything through the dishwasher, so they need to go through the dishwasher. And then two of these, which were £2 for the set, so also a pound each. These ones will be spray painted. Going to buy the spray paint tomorrow. These big ones, and David was quite taken by these because they're square, and he said, we haven't got any square ones yet. So they can go through the dishwasher too. So that was the first charity shop we went into. We went into about six, and there was only stuff in the first one. But never mind, eh? We've got what we needed, that can go for recycling. Got that in there. Um, and then went to, no, before that went to a farm shop and got the, the kimchi we ended up getting my sister was, well, we got the, the sort of the original one, which was called the red one, which has got a bit of everything in. And then I also got the purple one, which is the beetroot one. There was a spicy one. I think this one's gonna be spicy anyway, cause it's got red chili in it and red chili powder. Um, and she likes sort of semi-spicy stuff, not super spicy. Oh, there's quite the party going on in here. Um, but they'll go in there until we're ready. And then we also got, oh, when we were at the, we got the lovely loaf of bread, and it's just reminded me that I think I might make some bread on, oh, I think I might make some bread on sun, on Monday. So I need to get my starter out, which actually has separated. Oh, it's got, so if this ever happens to your starter, don't worry, it's completely rescuable, but it's separated, so it's got like a very boozy smelling, I love that smell, layer on the top and lots of, it's thicker at the bottom. So just give it a mix. If it doesn't separate, if it doesn't go back to normal, I mix it with a reusable straw. If it doesn't go back to normal, just add a little bit more flour, like, well, normally I add about 80 grams of flour um, and that should do it. It's just the ratios have got a bit out. This is more of a mixing job than this straw is capable of. Let me do that and then I'll continue to show you what else I got at the farm shop. What I was saying before I got excited about my starter, which I, the sourdough starter I should say, we bought a loaf of Italian sourdough from the market today. We also got a cucumber. I'll bring it a bit closer so I'm not disappearing off the screen every time. All oh, these I'm very excited about. This is what we're gonna have for lunch today. Um, some of these lovely different coloured radishes. I love radishes. Do you like radishes, David? Yeah. Yeah, I really like them. Uh, some nice tomatoes, plum ones on the vine. She's having one now. Just love tomato. Smoked garlic, which is just the smell of Actually, we haven't used, even used the other smoked garlic I bought. Two little gems, which sadly were only in plastic. And then for lunch, along with the salady bits, David got himself a scotch egg and I got myself a vegetarian scotch egg, which is an irresistible blend of chickpeas, cheddar and parmesan cheese with sun-dried tomatoes. We've had scotch eggs from there before. I haven't had this brand of vegetarian one. The other one I had was like sweet potato and stuff and it was absolutely delicious. Um, and then we just got a couple of pots of one of potato salad and one of batata hara. Forgot to take my own pots, which is what I said I was gonna do, forgot. But I do use these pots to take stuff to, for lunch in and stuff so they will get reused. That is what we bought at the farm shop. I'm going to put that away now, I think. And then David and I can sort out our gusto box, which has arrived today as well. Ooh, not too bad picking stuff up when I haven't got a bend. I'll show you what we've got on gusto this week. And then I'll show you what we have for dinner tonight. And then I think it's 
chore time during which I'll listen to more of <laughs> I'll listen to more of Young Mungo I'd really like to get Young Mungo finished today right so the four things we're having this week oh one of them's a double spreader so we've got coriander squash and couscous with mint yogurt that sounds nice curried paneer tray bake with turmeric yogurt oh, that sounds also nice Smoky Mexican style breakfast bowl, which I think we're going to have on Monday morning as a sort of nice lazy breakfast. And then this is what we're having tonight. Mexican feast with pulled mushroom birria tacos. David, do you want to come and look at this? Uh, it's I think you're going to be quite excited by it. Yeah. Oh yeah, it does look nice. This is a double, a double spreader. So David and I get good stuff. We don't get it all the time. We used to get all through lockdown. We got it all the time because we were relying on it for sort of rather than going to supermarkets and mm. stuff. Um, but we get it a little like once or, almost. Yeah, I know it looks good. Once or twice a month. Very, very helpful. It, it sort of would you say it gives us a bit of variety? We're very, we very much uh, otherwise we definitely. just eat sweet and sour tofu every yeah, night. No, I we? definitely feel like it's um, it's improved my cooking capabilities. Yeah, David likes making them, which is really good because that means um, yeah. you you do a bit of cooking and yeah. stuff like that. And we've discovered sort of like favourite oh. recipes from these as well, which we remake. Um, we get four meals a week, which is 35 quid, which when we started, I was like, that's too much. But for someone who was previously going to the supermarket literally every night and spending like 13, uh, 15 to 20 pound a night uh, on like reduced stuff, which I would then chuck in the bin, um, it's very, very helpful. I do have an affiliate link and I will link it down below if you're interested. Um, I think you get 60% off she's got sourdough on her finger you get 60% off of the first box and then 30% off for the rest of the month and I think I get 15 quid um, very very helpful if, if you'd like to support the channel that's a wonderful way to do it and you get a bargain too do it um, do it says David right anyway I'm gonna we, we do a little we've got a little routine when it arrives David ticks it off as I get out what's out of the box and uh, yeah we're gonna do that and then it will be chore chore time is that right David that is right my friend as I may have mentioned, David keeps saying, oh, you haven't mentioned it, is that um, I'm going, <laughs> I've am going. i got bad back. So I can't do all of my chores that I would like to. So my chores today are change the bed sheets, which I still think I'm going to need a bit of assistance with, and do all the washing up and put the washing up that isn't on low down things away. So I'm going to crack on with I that. I like the way you say do all the washing up. There's not much washing up. <laughs> yeah. I'm just... I've got to do all this washing up. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to listen to Young Mungo. I've got, I'm 80% of the way through. And I've got two hours 45 left, but I'm listening to it on 1.25. I can't let you hear any of it because we're at a very, very spoilery part. Yeah, I did Bye. Eating the radishes, says David. Chores are done. Well done, David. You did the majority of them, didn't you? Yeah. Lunch is made. Sadly, well, sadly, I mean, it's still going to be delicious. Last time I got these Scotch eggs, the middles were runny. Now, not runny this time. But doesn't it look lovely? Scotch egg and a potato salad and a ba 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 and um, bread. And David and I are now going to sit. Also, I've started drinking out of this. <laughs> Just a um, a storage jar. I just love drinking out of it. I'm interested to know how much is in this. David, your head is this. Cool. Um, <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'm interested to know how much this is. That can wait for another time because right now David and I are about to watch Friday's episode of House of Games series five. We've been very into House of Games, haven't we, David? I certainly you have. I think this is the first, this is the last one. Look, week twenty-four of series five. I think it only runs for half the year. That's week sad. twenty-four, but we've had a lovely time watching it. Yeah, we could probably and, go and catch up on some weeks yeah. if we wanted to. I want to watch the one with James Acaster on. So we're gonna watch this now. Almost finished with Young Mungo. We've got less than two hours left. It's very, very good. I'm really, really enjoying it. I really, really have enjoyed it a lot. Um, but yeah, House of Games. Press play, David. Bam, bam, ba -da -dum. Oh, hello, my friends. I've just said to David, oh, it's only about five o'clock. And what time is it? About quarter to seven now, isn't it? I think he's... Uh, half past six. David's playing games on his computer. He's literally sat <laughs> next to me. I've got David. One of my favourite reading spots is... We've got a bay window here. And I've got David to change, turn this chair around. The chair is... Well, I wouldn't have been able to turn it around by myself anyway because I don't know if I've mentioned but I've got a backache. But also I find it quite awkward. It's just a really awkward size, isn't it, David? Mm -hmm. Like, and there's no way for you to get a proper grip of it. So even when we're moving it, I always really struggle. Anyway, David turned it around. And I'm now facing out of the bay window. 
Um, and yeah, I've got a blanket on, I've got my plug-in hot water bottle on my back, and I'm just gonna sit and read another chapter of um, something new, and I'll probably have a little bash of remote sympathy as well. I'm about an hour towards, uh, to the end of um, Young Mungo, and I've really enjoyed that, and that's gonna be over soon. Um, we were gonna have a Mexican feast tonight for Augusto, but we're so full after our lunch. Did we have a late lunch, David? Uh, yeah, pretty late. Yeah. Plus, like bearing in mind, we had a pretty big breakfast as we well, and that was breakfast. quite late. Dum, da, dum, 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 da, dum, dum, dum. Do you know what that is? Yeah, it has games. No. Oh. It's the big breakfast theme tune. Oh. Um, oh, I am sorry. <laughs> you mean you didn't get it from that? <laughs> um, so, yeah. I don't know what we're going to do tonight. I quite fancy watching a film, but you've found nothing that floats your boat, have you? Well, not yet, but I mean, I haven't looked massively. Mm. Maybe we'll have another look for a feel. I don't know what we're going to do about food. I think it's too much to have that Mexican feast, David. It's just too much. Yeah. Beans on toast. Uh, I don't think we've got any beans. Oh. Toast. <laughs> Maybe scambled egg on toast. Although I did have one egg today. And Lord knows if I have more than a couple of eggs a day, I'll be bound up. But anyway, I'm going to have a little read now. God, it's so lovely. Can you hear those birds tweeting? They literally stop as I say, can you hear the birds tweeting? I can hear them a little bit. Um, yeah. I'm going to lean forward to turn it off. <sighs> Another day. Oh, God. <laughs> um, it's Saturday now. Well, Saturday night. We're about to go to bed. Do you want to turn around and have a little look at your, your adorable uh, public, David? Or are you quite happy doing that? I was watching the JCB song. Oh, he's watching the JCB song on TikTok. Yeah. Um, I've just finished uh, Young Mungo by Stuart Douglas. Douglas Stewart. <laughs> when will I ever get those names the right way round? Um, very much enjoyed it. Very much enjoyed it. If I, if um, Shuggy Bane is half as good, which I imagine it's even better than Young Mungo, then I'm in for an absolute treatums. Um, yeah. It's 10 to 11. I'll probably continue reading a little bit more of Remote Sympathy. The books that I said I wouldn't really talk about this um, vlog because I'd already wrapped them up. It isn't going to be true that I've read this in April. I mean, even if I was to read it flat out, would I get this done in an hour and ten minutes? I don't think I will because I'm very tired. Um, but yeah, I might intersperse it with a chapter or two of something new. And then tomorrow's May, which means a whole new, um, a whole new TBR. So I'll probably start something new tomorrow. That's exciting, isn't it? And we're going to the book, uh, the board game cafe. And we've got to go to Hobbycraft to pick up some spray paint for wedding stuff. And also we're going to go to a few charity shops. So yeah, it's looking like a good old evening. We didn't have that Mexican feast in the evening because we were so full from all of our dinner. I had asparagus on toast. David had toast. <laughs> so I think that's it from me. Is that it from you, David? Have yeah. you got anything more you want to add? I uh, love you all. Love you all, he says. We'll see you in the morning. Bye. Happy Sunday. And happy May. This is the remnants of, uh, I've literally just finished filming my May TBR and David and I are about to go to the board game cafe with my mother and father and on the way go to Hobbycraft and get some spray paint and hopefully go to a charity shop and see if we can pick up any more candlesticks. Um, yeah, feels good. I've got my new, oh, this is my new jumpsuit. I don't know if I can get up there. I'll stand far away. So this is the same structure as the gingham jumpsuit. I'm going further away. That I had on before, but it's got this sort of like 70s. It reminds me a bit of like camping, like what people would wear when they were camping in the 80s. Is it 70s or 80s? But I love it. Again, it's 100% cotton lined, just feels so nice on with that little stretchy bit there, which has just helped so much. And just everything just feels lovely about it. I'm just delighted to be in it. So, gotta pick a book to take with me. Not that I'm gonna be reading this book very much, but we're in a there's always a chance I take a book with me wherever. So even though today I'm going out with my mum, dad and husband-to-be, um, I will still take a book with me. And it needs to be quite small because it needs to fit into a slim bag. So I'm just going to have a look through what I've got here and take something from here with me. I've got an idea of what to take with me. So actually, this is the smallest 
book in terms of actual size um, that I've said that I'll read this month. So this is uh, The Secret Lives of Church Ladies by Disha Filia. This is a collection of short stories um, about women who spend time in the church. Nine stories in this collection feature four generations of characters 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 grappling with who they want to be in the world caught as they are between the church's double standards and their own needs and passions i've heard really good things about it so yeah i'm going to take that with me look that might well even slip into this pocket it only bloody does as if things could get even better david my book fits into my new jumpsuit pocket it's absolutely perfect that's made my day it, it really has made my day so i'll put these away we've literally got to leave in about two minutes so i need to get my trainers on and then we'll get on our merry way oh david i'm not sure that goes no well i think it's because you've got Is one it, too many the colors clash. on yeah if those shorts were blue or if you had jeans on that i've would got go. a blue pair of shorts oh yeah i know what a blue pair of shorts though light blue yeah that not work? um i'll help you oh she goes all the way to another city <laughs> and um, doesn't film a thing despite taking a camera with her um, and going to a board game cafe. But uh, so we didn't get any uh, we didn't get any candlesticks today, but we did get four spray paints for the candlesticks, which is exciting. I've lost the top for the last one, which isn't. Oh no! There's a top. Mi oh, no, I've got it. So we've got this bright yellow colour. The brand is gold. I don't want that to go on too much because I don't want to spray anything obviously. Well, that looks as though it has sprayed something. I mean, it's got a little fixed bit. It's gone on. I think I did spray something then. Oh dear. Uh, a blue, <laughs> this bright blue. Power orange and acid green. And we will spray paint these sort of things. Make it. I think I have just sprayed a bit of that because it's got like yellow on the thing. Yeah. Um, anyway, got those. So that was sorted. Uh, went to the board game cafe, played Wingspan, which I really enjoyed. But my dad, who I thought would love it because he's very into sort of birds and ornithology, he didn't like it at all, did he, David? He actively looked bored. <laughs> he looked a bit bored throughout. Yeah, I know. I thought he was going to really, really love it. So he didn't, which was a shame. Um, and yeah, then played a quick game of... They've got these little oink card games, which are really good. Um, and we played one of those and we played Ticket to Ride, but a very small Ticket to Ride. Um, but yeah, and they didn't have my burger that I love. But it was still lovely, wasn't it? Headed back to my mum and dad's afterwards, just for a cup of tea and some fig rolls, which are my favourite biscuits. Um, and to have a little look at cruises, which is what we're going to do for our honeymoon. We're going to go on a cruise of the Norwegian fjords. And um, my mum and dad have kindly offered to help us out with that. So that would be lovely. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we had a little look and decided what we wanted to do, where we wanted to go, etc, etc. It's exciting. David and I have never been on, like, whenever we go on holiday, we go on holidays, lovely holidays, like, in this here country. Um, and often don't just do long weekends and stuff. We've never done, have we ever done a holiday long? I don't think we have, have we, David? Five nights is the longest holiday we've done together. Uh, yeah. I think, I think it is, yeah. So this will be lovely. Let's hope, yeah. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we're home now. I didn't read a thing, obviously, um, but I haven't edited my uh, TBR yet either. So I think I'm going to do that, then do uh, a little bit of reading in the bath, maybe. And then what are we having for dinner, David? Should we pick? Uh, yeah, if you want to. Shall I meet you in the kitchen? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll meet you there. Dinner options. Because I need to do a bit of tidying up, don't we? If you empty the dishwasher, I don't mind doing the washing up. Okay. Love you so much. Dinner options. You don't want the big Mexican feast. Mexican feast with pulled mushroom billio tacos. You want to be hungry for that, really, don't you? We don't want... We're going to have that for breakfast tomorrow. Smoky Mexican-style breakfast right. bowl. Look, that's all over one side. Also, tonight, coriander squash and couscous with mint yoghurt. That sounds quite fresh, doesn't it? I mean, it? that takes ten minutes. So. Oh, does it? Or curried paneer tray bake with turmeric yogurt. Should we have the little 10 minute? Yeah. Coriander squash and couscous with mint oh, yogurt. Right, right, I know, I put it back stuff. in. Yeah. Sometimes it, it just gathers muck. We all do, David. We all do. <laughs> Hi, is it a bit dark? Yeah, it's gonna be dark because I haven't got any lights on over here. <laughs> um, had a bath, read the first short story in The Secret Life of Church Ladies. I think I'm gonna really, really love this. The first one was, uh, that's the uh, washing machine going. Um, 
was entitled Eula and is about um, Car Carletta, Carletta, I think her name was, meeting up with her um, high school best friend Eula every new year and sort of having a romantic meeting every year and then Eula being like, oh, but next year might be the year I find a husband. Really loved it, very, very, like, got me grabbed straight away so yeah read that in the um bath and then it started listening to so i had a number of things on my um on my libby app that i've got um my oh that front cover so lovely i've got all of my audio books on there and i thought i'd listen to spring by ali smith um which is a uh, a trilogy and i've read autumn and winter i wasn't sure if i'd read spring i think i actually own spring which is bad yeah i can see it and i've never bloody read it but i'm listening to the audio of it now um and i'm already very invested in that as well but now i've edited my may tbr so it's going up quite late it's 20 past eight now i'm gonna go and now make dinner david's just finishing off in the bath and then we're gonna watch something on the telly um i think he wants to watch more of 10 percent which is the um british version of call my agent um, but I also wouldn't mind watching the first episode of Heartstopper because yeah, we spent such a long time looking for a film yesterday and couldn't find anything. That's the way of the world though, isn't it? It's just so much stuff, I've hurt my hip, um, so much stuff that you can't actually find films and stuff to watch because there's so many. But yeah, I think we'll watch one of those. But I'm going to go make dinner now and I'll see you a bit later. Sorry, it's dark, bye. David and I have just watched two episodes of Heartstopper and David, isn't it lovely? It's very good. We feel like we've had our own heart stopped. We've, it's just so cute. Mm -hmm. What do you like best about it, David? Um, I really like the animation. Oh, I thought you were going to say you really like Nelly. <laughs> oh, I really love Nelly. It's just, yeah, it's just everything I want in it's the TV so show. It's so lovely. Perfect. Perfection. Anyway, we're in bed now. It's 11 o'clock. David. I'm going to read until gone midnight because I've got nothing to be up for in the morning, so I'm quite excited about that. Um, oh, she's just dropped that. Now, I'm in the middle of reading a story. I say a story. It's very, very short um, called Not Daniel from Secret Life of Church Ladies. What I've realised is this is cover is made of this lovely sort of like matte material, but I've obviously eaten something a bit greasy while I've been holding it because I have uh, got the front cover greasy. I'm going to finish that. And then I think I'm going to finish this. I think I'm going to actually finish this to the end tonight. Um, these things don't take long to read anyway. Um, so yeah, what are you doing, David? TikToks. Enjoy your TikToks. Um, and I guess I'll see you in the morning once I've carried on reading for a, until gone midnight and then had a lovely lay in. Oh. Just a couple of little grey babies in bed wearing their grey... Why have you closed your eyes? You've been awake until now. You're just a performer. Well... For someone who wanted a big lay-in, I was awake at quarter to nine. That's quite early, isn't it, for a big lay-in yeah, times? Yeah. yeah. Well, here we are. David was playing. What game have you been playing, David? Uh, FIFA and Grand Theft Auto. Oh, you've been playing FIFA this morning? Uh, for Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto is a bit naughty, isn't it? I don't really like you playing it. No. <laughs> and he plays online with people as well. I don't like that either because their noises are loud. Are they? Mm. Well, it's Bank Holiday Monday and we've got the whole day ahead of us. We're going to have some nice breakfast. We're going to have a sort of like Mexican... <laughs> we always laugh because once... I mean, I don't think we've been together that long, have we? No, I think... No, this is quite a few years into it. Oh, OK. And David said to me, oh, what do you want for dinner? And I said, I don't mind, I just want something nice. And he went, oh, for God's sake. And I thought... <laughs> Sorry. I want something nice <laughs> for dinner and not rank. And it's sat, so it's and really it's, stuck, it's, hasn't yeah, it? It's stuck with us. So whenever we say, yeah. like, oh, what do you want for dinner? We say something nice. Go, oh, for God's sake. <sighs> something nice. Jesus. For God's sake. So we're going to have something nice for breakfast. Then David wants to go for a walk. I can't go for too much of a walk because of me old... <laughs> you can never go for too much of a walk. And that's not true. Because of my hip and back. My hip, my back. And what else do you want to do? Do you want to watch more of the 10%? Do you want to watch more of Heartstopper? Yes, to both. Do you want to watch more of Selling Sunset? Oh my God, I didn't even factor it in. Selling Sunset, oh yeah, we need to watch some of that. They don't take long, do they? No, we could probably smash through all of it today. Of everything. Everything. 
Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Is House of Games back? Uh, David, I keep telling you, House of Games is over now. People, they might be repeating stuff. Well, you can have a look. Why don't you have a look? Not now. Um, I believe it was a surprise show. Yeah, it's a very sort of chilled be fun. bank holiday Monday. There's nothing really going on. No. You definitely don't want to go to Leeds Castle. I don't think so. I think it's just going to be too busy. Okay. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we should be a bit more... I would say it's not really adventurous because it's obviously if we've never been there before. But I don't know. Well, we've had a pretty busy bank holiday anyway. What do we do on Saturday? Chores. Oh, yeah, we went tennis, to... We went to... Um, Fee, didn't we? Um, yeah, and then yesterday we was at the board game cafe. We've been your busy. parents, so we've done stuff. So we've been cinema you know. Friday night. Yeah, so I wouldn't be adverse to a lazy day. Do you want to come for a cuddle? I wouldn't be adverse to it. Do mini fluff on you? Indoor bank holiday Monday. I mean, the weather's not great. It's quite cloudy. You're going to cry. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Why are you crying? Oh. Cause what? I'm busy. You've been busy. Yeah. Need a rest. <laughs> Well, we can just have a rest if you like. Yeah, we've got loads of TV. We've got loads of TV we want to watch. I'd like to do a bit of reading as well. Maybe we can have a... We'll go have a daytime bath, David. Daytime bath. Sandwich mm. from around the corner. Do you I don't know if it'll be open, David. It's bank holiday. Uh, oh, you're leaning on me a bit. I don't actually think it opens on Mondays. Might be right. I think it closes Sundays and Mondays. You know what arm sounds starting, isn't it? What? Look at that. Red. Your Neapolitan ice cream. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit Neapolitan ice cream. But David, that's why I love you. Your raspberry ripple arms. Do kissing. Bye. Hi, I'm changed. I've just had a lovely bath. And in that bath, I read the next story in The Secret Lives of Church Ladies. And then when I got out, I laid on the bed and read one as well. Um, it's now... Half past 12. I do feel quite good at having got up, <laughs> not really early, but like early on a bank holiday Monday. I've got my last Jodie dress on that they sent me. This one I really love. David likes this one the most as well. This is a dress, the other two were um, jumpsuits. This one, I feel like bloody Trixie from Call the Midwife. Like, would Trixie have her period knickers out on display? Who knows? Um, but I love the print, it's 100% cotton again and lined also what another thing that they do they just put in sort of like secret buttons just to hold things a little bit i've got quite a fluctuating waist so this is i'm probably this is a 16 and i think if i was to sit down we'd get a little bit gapy i don't mind being a little bit gapy but yeah i just love it the length on it's really nice can i stand on here i'll try if I fall, we'll have it all oh, the old hip. The length of it's really nice. Sadly, I haven't got any of my summer shoes out at the moment, but I think I'd probably wear this with my um, saltwater sandals. I've got them in yellow, they're very nice. I don't know what I'm gonna wear it with today. David and I are maybe gonna go for a little walk around the block. I also can't find my chub rub shorts anywhere. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, otherwise I'll be chafing all the way around that big walk. Um, but yeah. That's how things are going. I think, and I'm very much enjoying this by the way, very, very much enjoying this. Every single, I've really, really enjoyed the last story which I read which was Snowfall, about um, two women in a relationship and neither of them being, um, having re relationships with their mothers, one having no relationship with their mother and them living in um, very snowy and cold climates after having lived in a warm place their whole lives and um, as a surprise one of them to cheer the other one up um, sets up like a um, gets like all the food that they would eat in the summer and puts on some summer music and wears a summer dress and turns the heating up and stuff like that and it really reminded me of when it was lockdown and David and I David was desperate to go to the cinema and um, I set up like a little cinema situation in here and did like little tickets and he got to pick what film he wanted to watch and stuff like that so yeah it was just a nice thing to do and I just it reminded me of when I when I did that nice thing for David so yeah I think I'm going to start something else I think the best thing to do as I may well have mentioned already is to start Love Marriage by Monica Alley. This we've got out from the library and I've been desperate to read it and it's only got a two week loan on it. Um, so I need to get it read and I've already had to return it once. So I think I'm gonna start on that. I'm just gonna wait for David to get out of the daytime bath and then we can decide what the plan is for the rest of the day. But I don't think there is much of a plan for the rest of the day. I think it's just milling around in my lovely new dress. Maybe doing a bit of reading 
a bit of eating. David's got to feed the, uh, fill the bird feeder up because we've got a sparrow and a robin on there sitting there like, where have all the fat balls gone, mate? <laughs> so when he gets out of the bath, he's gonna do that. But yeah, that's that. This is lovely, isn't it? Oh, hi, welcome back to the reading vlog where I haven't done any reading today. That's not true. I've done a little bit of reading, but what David and I have actually just done is sat and watched six episodes of Selling Sunset. Back to back. Was it six? I think it actually was. Yeah, I think so. We finished. We're up to date now. We've just got the reunion to watch on the 6th of May. Interesting. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've just rung my sister. My sister's been away on holiday this weekend. Um, and I just rung her to see if she's back so we can nip round and see my niece. But she didn't answer. So now what do you want to do then, David? We had burgers for lunch. They were lovely. Nipped to the co-op and had a Mars ice cream walking back. That was also nice, wasn't it? Now what? Today. Do you want to watch more tellies? I mean, I always want to watch more telly. Oh, I tell you what we should do. Should we read a little bit of um, Stanley oh, yeah, Tucci together? Some Stanley. Let's do that. That'll be nice, and then that'll be actual reading. Stanley. Sally. So we just read chapters. Well, we read the introduction and then chapters one and two of Taste by Stanley Tucci. Just hold it up for the boys and girls to see. Very much. Oh, you're not holding it up. And tell tell them about that corn trick you've just learned. David oh loves corn on the cob. Corn and the last one of my thing favorites. in chapter two that we've just read. What does it? How does he say to do it? So you boil the corn on the cob as you would do. As you would for, for six minutes, and then so normally you just get a knife and you just like slabber the butter on. Oh, not the two cheese. So what they do, and this is absolute genius. Yeah, it's genius. So they get a slice of bread like slather the bread in butter and then they like use that as a like a bit of a, a like a like a smearing tool yeah and then just like wipe it over and then you've got like corn on the cob and bread and a bit of bread and butter with like a bit of corn and just melted oh my god genius we'll have to do that next time i think we're having it tonight oh no i think it's special corn on the special cob tonight though. but next time we do it we will do it yeah but very much enjoying this i think we're gonna love it aren't we yeah love it already kiss Stanley kiss <laughs> oh, well, this looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, We've got mushroom birria tacos. With look at that. Oh my god, I've just remembered. I thought it was. Ah, I forgot it's that. It's pulled mushroom. That pulled mushroom and which delicious is corn. Which so good. I might have overdone the corn a little bit. No, but definitely not. I think I'm going to wrap the vlog up here with a mouthful of corn. Um, Everyone's favourite way to wrap up a vlog mm. with a mouthful. I'm hoping to finish the Secret Life of Church Ladies tonight when I'm in bed, but we're about to watch. Oh yeah, catch us on some food sorted foods. And things like that. Yeah. But thanks for joining us for the bank holiday. Have you had a nice bank holiday, David? I've had a lovely What's been your bank highlight? Holiday. Obviously being with you is always the highlight, really. But um well, falling in love with two new T V programmes mm -hmm. is always good. No, um We've just been for a walk down the beach. That was nice. Yep, Downton Abbey. Bought, like we've had a we've had a although like because we've been pretty much lazy around all morning. For a minute, I was kind of thinking, we haven't really done anything this bank holiday. We've had a very busy bank about. holiday. And it was quite nice just to have a little chill, like, this morning into the day. I wish all weekends were three-day weekends. Don't we? Well, maybe one day. Maybe one day. There's people trying in it, isn't there? It Don't is. fuck it up for us. Don't <laughs> fuck it up. Anyway. Thumbs up. And Minnie's still alive. So... Minnie was always alive. She's always alive, but, you know, it's always... It's they, always... Don't, they don't know Minnie's been ill. Oh. <laughs> She's fine. Um, yeah. Shall we see you all again soon for another butcher video? Yeah. Goodbye. Bye.